Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, man, I just finished uh, Steve uh, Bannon's War Room, and uh, it was good. It was a segment about the border. I think we covered some things that needed to be – well, I, I definitely said some things that needed to be said. Um, uh, you know, I, you know I, I took my spot, my little segment, to also say what I feel about, you know, who Biden is and what he is. So I didn't waste any time. I spoke about the border in one month, okay? In one month, we've had more immigration through El Paso than the entire year of 2020. This is what's happening. You got Veronica Escobar uh, showing up to take photo opportunities for her political gain. You got Bucktooth Beto um, getting ready to uh, go run for governor of, of uh of Texas. This is just, I cannot believe that I'm watching the, the sand slip through the fingers of America because I'll be honest with you. I, I, um, yeah, I hear, I, I understand a lot of you. I talked to 107. I talked to, uh, other people, connected people that are telling me we need to go through this near death experience for America, but I'm going nuclear. I'm going all in. I'm putting in all my chips. I'm not waiting for, um, that near death experience. I'm getting proactive and I hope you are too. Um, nobody's too small to do anything. And by the way, you know, a lot of you give me shit about this, but Hey, that's what I have to do. Uh, you can Venmo me D hyphen rod 1977 D hyphen rod 1977 on Venmo, or you can cash me cash app down below. And I appreciate it all. Uh, the the illegal influx in one month in El Paso has surpassed the entire year of 2020. I'm here in Phoenix right now. I don't even want to live in El Paso anymore. I'm getting a second home out here because I'm gonna have to. I, I'm gonna have to leave. The governor passed in Texas to lift mandates. Okay, the guy it passed. It's done. You don't have to wear them anymore. I would say 90 to 95% of businesses in El Paso are not even observing it. You walk in, oh, your mask, sir, your mask. It's disgusting. I can't be there anymore. It's like a disease. The mentality is a disease. But I'm going to give you guys some good news. Although I do believe White hats are, are I'm not going to say in control, but I'm going to say good guys are working hard to keep America. Because I believe this war has already been fought and won. But it's going to get bad. It's going to get worse because the people of America have to have that nudge. They have to have that push. You guys have to get proactive. This is 1776. Shit, it's on steroids. Guys, next week I'm going to have General McInerney. I'm going to have General McInerney Monday. Um, and I'll put that up on my YouTube for a little bit. And you can also catch it on Nino's Corner.tv. Nino's Corner.tv. Because I, if I get bombed here or wherever, that's where it stays. Um I'm also going to Tulsa, April 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th. Uh, Lynn Wood's going to be there. General um, General Flynn, Sidney Powell, they're all going to be there. There's a big, huge speaking engagement, and I believe I'm speaking at it. Um, and I'll be talking to Clay. I believe his name is Clay. Um, Monday or Tuesday, talking about the event that's coming, and I'll put that up on YouTube as well. So there's a lot of good things uh Happening, a lot of uh, a lot of patriots are coming together, and uh, while they were while they were busy distracting you, and I got this from a friend with uh, canceling Dr. Seuss, canceling Mr. Potato Head, um, you know all the the innocent car caricatures and cartoons that we grew up with as kids, but let the, they'll let Cardi B with her wop wet pussy. Now, that's not a problem. Now, see, that's not a problem for kids. That shit's not a problem. But Dr. Seuss is a problem. Mr. Potato Head's a problem. Well, then, while they were busy distracting you with that bullshit, I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 Democratic mayors, congressmen, fundraisers, activists, chairmen, officials uh, were taken down or stepped down for guess what? And I don't like to say the word here, but you guys can use your imagination. They were pederasses. What's a pederass? Think about it. They like the little ones. They like the little ones a lot. So a bunch of pederasters were taken down. Damn. I mean, serious, serious allegations and charges, man, on all of them. And there's a lot. So this is happening behind the scenes. While they're scaring the shit out of you with the border issue, um, getting ready to hire taxes, that's just scare the fuck out of everybody because he's not just going after people that make 400 grand and up. He's going after people that make 200 grand. This is the demise of America, and you're watching it free fall in front of your eyes. And folks, I can preach all day long about, oh... It's an NDE. It's it's a near death experiment ex experience. We all just need to we all just need to wait until they reverse out of this. No, I'm not. I'm not taking the chance anymore. I'm going nuclear. I'm going nuclear. You all need to get proactive. Every single one of you on here. Yeah, you could say, "Oh, enjoy the show." It's all pantomime. I see people saying that. I'm not, guys. I talk to credible sources. And I'm not convinced 100% about that. There's too much in jeopardy here. There's too much to lose. There's too much. This is America. This is the last domino. These globalist pigs want it knocked down. It's complete. The fact that everyone is so lackadaisical. And just complacent blows my fucking mind. And I'm sorry, a lot of you, oh, you cuss too much. Grow up. Grow up. We're in a dire situation. This is not a joke. This is not like, there is no 2022 and there is no 2024. You can't convince me of that. I, you're the conspiracy theorist if you're thinking that. If you're thinking that there's a 2022 and a 2024, you're an idiot. Oh, 20, never mind 2020. And hey, is there a chance this whole game is just controlled from the get-go and everyone's playing a role in it? Yeah, I've entertained that too. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I've entertained it all, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I like to do? Think. I'm a free thinker, but I'm also a fighter. So I will stand up for what I believe in. So the step downs are continuing and you're saying that's old news. That's not old news. It's not old news. They're continuing. It's continuing. It's just getting to the point where um, we're, we're hitting a breaking point. We're here now. We're about right here. What's going to happen when the caravans start hit, making its way to the border. Like I'm talking by the millions. Right now there's an open invitation. Anybody and everybody, come on in. Come on in. We're open for business. Except there is no business. What's going to happen is you bring them in. And they hire your taxes. They hire minimum, minimum wage. People live off programs. This is about the destruction of America, bottom line. That's all this is. It's about the end of America. And something better happen real quick because you can tell me all day long this is an NDE. It's a near-death experience for America. We're going to pull right out of it. Well, I'm against that if Americans get hurt. 
I'm against it. There should be no casualties. There should be no spikes in crime. Um, killing off of jobs. Are you kidding me? There's an Ohio uh, Ford company now moving to Mexico. I talked to uh, General McInerney on the phone for a little bit. Um, I'm going to tell you folks, I'm going to interview him. I'm going to interview him, but he's not too optimistic about shit. You know, I, I usually like to give some optimism to my to my followers, to my people that are that are that are following me and 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 on board. But guys, I'm just going to keep it real. I'll always keep it real. If I got good information, I'll give it to you. Right now, it's pretty scary how quiet shit is, and that that could be a good thing. I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. I just have a really hard time thinking that the man, Mr. T, that goes up in front of the UN, does, does an amazing speech about we'll never be socialist, takes us to the finish line, brings companies back, restarts, re revigorates America, just gets to the finish line and says, oh, well, that's it for me, folks. I'm out of here. Not a chance. That man is wanted. For the four years of the hindrance he gave the globalist, he's wanted. They want his head on a stake. He's not safe. He better have a game plan. He better finish this all the way through, is the way I see it. This has to get all, this has to be, it's got to be done 100 miles an hour, and we got to cross the finish line. We don't stop two inches before the finish line. Doesn't happen. Also, guys, on Wednesday, I'm going to be talking to Attila Jim uh, on Alpha Corner. We're going to have another segment of Alpha Corner, and that's going to be good on Wednesday. Um, shit's getting cray-cray. <laughs> that's all I got to say. Just wanted to give you an update. You guys could have uh, – I'm on the uh, Steve Bannon War Room. It was a great segment talking about the border. Um, that was good. It was good. I like Steve Bannon a lot. I think he's a true patriot. Uh, he's he's laying it all on the line, man. There's a lot of us that are. We will be silenced no more. I'm going nuclear with this shit. Um, and if you – every single one of you have a voice. Every single one of you have a voice. You can make it happen. Start your own channel. Put out videos. So what if only it gets one to five views? Who cares? Got to start somewhere. You know, stand up for your rights. Speak your mind. You know, that's our last, that's what makes America so beautiful and so free is that we can speak our minds. And we protect our right to freedoms with the Second Amendment. And we know they're coming after that. So, guys, we're on the brink, and I really believe that this has to. This is going to be left up to us as a country. Do you want it bad enough? Do you want it bad enough? Then there needs to be boots on the ground. You need to make a difference in your community. Run for office, do whatever. I, I told Steve, I you know, there is no 2022 or 2024. We fixed 2020. That's it. We all know what happened. So I'm going to give it my all, and I'm going all in. You guys take care. Um, God bless. God bless America. Peace.